Rapid Fire Excel by ExcelLevers.com. Borders. In this tutorial, we'll cover some tips and tricks on how to best use borders in Excel, particularly in Excel 2007 and 2010. Borders are essential to, essential to master in Excel. If you've got a set of data and you want to highlight particular elements or you want to make it look clean and polished, you'll need to use borders. So how do you access borders in Excel? Firstly, you can go to the Home tab. There's a little drop-down under the font section that is the borders drop-down. When you click on it, you'll see that's divided into two sections, the borders section and the draw borders section. The borders section shows various permutations that are commonly used for your borders. For instance, if you clicked on all borders, it places borders on every single cell in the range you highlighted. Let's clear that. If you clicked on thick box border, it draws a, fixed line, a thick line around the range that you highlighted. You can also clear your borders by clicking no border. This is useful, but is actually probably not the best way to do borders. We'll get to that in a second. Another function of this dropdown is the draw borders functionality. When you click on draw border, it pulls up a pen, allows you to draw borders wherever you see fit. This is good for really complicated situations where you have certain rows or columns that you want to highlight, but you really don't want a full range. It's good only when it's complicated, wouldn't use it otherwise. So let's go ahead and clear the borders that we've created. In reality, what you'll probably want to do when you edit your borders is pull up the full borders formatting function. So you can do that in a couple ways. First is clicking this little arrow here. The second is actually hitting control one. That's the best way to do it. When you hit control one, it pulls up the format cells window. You can click on the border tab or just hit B to get there. This has a couple different areas. The most important is this right here. This little section represents the range that you have highlighted as if there's four cells in there. So before, when we had a border on every single cell, you can mimic that, mimic that by simply clicking. When you click, you'll notice that the corresponding icon around this border window is indented. Really, you should ignore all of these icons. It's almost always better just to click. So if I clicked all of them right here, that would mimic, you'll see, the functionality of hitting the drop down and hitting all borders. But you can get much more complicated really quickly here. So let's say I want to mimic what we have on the left. You'll see that I've got a thick black line around the outside. So here I can click this, which looks about the same thickness as what I've got here. And I want to go around the whole edge. Right? I could either click four times here or use one of the presets. So I can go ahead and use the preset after clicking on the, the uh, line thickness that I wanted and hit outline. When I hit that, you'll see it appears there. Secondly, you'll see that I want dashed lines along the rows. So I click on one of the dashed line things, but you also notice that they're gray. So I can choose one of the gray colors. Then, since I just want them running down the middle of my range, I can just click right here, simply. If I accidentally clicked maybe here and highlighted the diagonals, you can just quickly click again to undo it. So I've hit that. I've hit the outside border. Let's go ahead and see, hit OK and see if it did what I wanted it to. Look at that. It did. OK, so now I want little vertical uh, dashed lines between the months. So I can highlight that range, hit Control-1 again, and I can place vertical dashed lines here. You can click on the, click on the uh, uh, dash. I notice that these maybe aren't gray. They're normal and black. I can just hit that, hit OK, and you'll notice that they appeared. So we've effectively copied the borders from here to here in very, very simple steps. So just to further that, let's go ahead and try to make this little funny thing. So this has a bunch of different random borders. If we highlight the range we want to do this to, we can pull it up, and you can see that we want thick borders around the outside, but of different colors. So let's go ahead and choose the thick border, and let's put on the blue one. We don't have to make the colors match exactly, but let's get it close enough. That looks pretty good. Now we want red. So let's change it to the red color, still keeping the thick one, and put that on the outside. Now we want green dashed lines in the middle. So let's first change it to green. That looks close enough. And let's pick a dashed line. This one looks close enough. So let's click right in the center of the cell to open the dashed line. Let's click a little bit. Oops, messed up there. We'll fix that in a second. Click a little bit to the left to put the dashed line there. Let's go ahead and fix the uh, the cell that we broke. So now it looks like we have uh, you know, a pattern that's pretty similar to what we have here. So let's click OK. Great. You'll see how easy that was and how hard that would be to do with this tool and the draw border tool. Borders are really used to make data stand out as cleanly as possible. Color is also used in that way, which we'll go into a little bit differently. But this is an example of how shading and colors and borders are used to effectively make data stand out. You'll see here in the Wyoming survey rate completions over time that there's different highlights for different rows, and the borders are clean and simple and really show the data that you want to show. That's about it for borders. You'll really just get a practice 
uh, get you'll get a lot of practice out of hitting control one and clicking on the borders pane and just trying this little panel out. That's it. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Rapid Fire Excel by Excelivers.com.